2013 BMW 335i. As you can probably hear, it's making an awful humming noise. Definitely not normal. This appears to be the vacuum-powered actuator for the wastegate. And this piece right down here. So I'm going to be replacing that. This is what the new part looks like. Got a couple pressure lines, one electrical connector. Looks like it's mounted by two bolts on that flange there. The way I diagnose this is just by unplugging the old part, like this. And the noise stops. So I just push that little wire pin inward toward the plug and pulled the plug straight up. So it's definitely that part that's having the problem. So here we go. Looks to be a couple 10 millimeter nuts attaching it. Let's see if I can get on it with a ratchet and a little extension. So step one's going to be getting this foil covered wire out of the way. It looks like it goes to ground. So I'm just going to pull it off that clip down there to expose the bottom nut for this part I'm trying to get into. Okay, I was able to pull that clip open a little bit with the help of some needle nose pliers. Just lever it up a little bit and pull that harness out of there. So now let's see if I can get a view of that bottom bolt. Yeah, it looks like just a matching bolt on the bottom. Shouldn't be too bad. No problem getting those two little nuts off. 10 millimeter. Don't drop them. Here's a better shot of how the hoses are connected. There's a sheath on one of mine. No clamps. The old part's out. The old part had a... Uh, looks like a dot .18 deprecated part number. The new one's dot .21. So, not sure what they redesigned. But there they are. Put the new one in. Alright, got the two hoses back on there. Just gonna swing this thing back onto those two studs and reattach the nuts. Here's a little trick if you have a little neodymium magnet lying around, drop it in your 10 millimeter socket and then your nut goes like that. Just remember to get the magnet out of the engine bay when you're done, but at least you won't drop it in this way and have to take off your belly pan and lift the car up and all that stuff to get your nut back. Alright, so there's the new part all in. I snugged up the nuts to a couple pounds, just finger tight. Not going to get a torque wrench in there. Just remember you're torquing down on a plastic flange there. Um, got the two little vacuum hoses in, got it plugged in, time to start it up. So there we go, old part, new part. I don't hear any buzzing noise at all. I'll drive it for a while, see how it works out, but I'm pretty sure that'll fix it. Hope that helps.